Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in this video we will learn how to translate a SAP script into other languages. We all know SAP is a multilingual software. It support customer of any country so language is never, never a barrier at all. Suppose if I will show you the output of SAP script as of now. Suppose if I'm giving the input and executing the program, this is the output which we are getting. If you see this output as of now, we hard coded the labels into one language that is English language. Order details, order number, header details, order date, payment mode, total cost, currency. This everything we have written in one language that is English language. Now suppose we have a customer and customer has the office in US also. Customer has the office in Germany also. The customer team which is running this particular script that is perfectly fine for them because they are able to understand the English language. But the customer team which is operating in the Germany will not able to understand these labels because they are in English language. So we need to, we need to do the translation into which particular language? German language. Yes, that is true. That customer team will provide us the text in the German language. But yes, we need to do the translation so that the customer team which is operating in the Germany, they will get the text into German language. This topic is already covered in the smart form playlist also. At that time, yes, we did the translation of smart form into other languages. Now we will do the translation of SAP script into other languages so that language is not a barrier. We can support customer of any country so that we need to do the translation. Now we all know very, very well now because that is covered in smart form playlist also. Whenever we want to do the translation, we need to go to which particular transaction code SE63. With the help of SE63, we can do the translation. And title bar is itself translation editor. We will click on to other text. During smart form also, you click on to other text. Now we need to expand SAP script forms and style. During smart form translation also, we did same to same thing. During smart form, you clicked on to SAP smart form. Now we will click on to forms forms because we are doing the translation for the script. Now, pass the name of your SAP script. This is our SAP script. Z-O-R-D detail. I will pass. Now we need to pass the source language and target language. So we created the SAP script into English. So source is English. Now I will go for target. Suppose 
I'm going for translation into German language. I will go to edit. Now we want to, we are translating from English to German. Now, if you see these all text which we have written, if I will go to SAP script, we all written this text. Suppose if I will go to any of the window, suppose if I will go to order details title window, we have written these text into the windows windows. So what I will do, we will simply, simply go for the windows text and documentation. As of now, we want to translate what if I will run through the program. If I will run through the program, we want to translate these things, order details, order number, header details. So where we have put this text, we have put this text into the windows. So I will simply, simply go for the windows text and documentation. Now I will go to change. Now you can see all windows, whatever the windows are there in the script, all are appearing here. And yes, I will do the translation for few text. Suppose, firstly, we will do the translation for order details. Where we have written the order details in this order title window. So you can simply, simply put the cursor go to edit. Now, as of now, I will not go for this because this order details is with the help of include text. Include text, I will take it later. I will go to other type of text first. Suppose I will go for order number. Where is your order number? Order number is in this window. So I will put the cursor. I will go to edit. Now you can see order number is come. This is our text in English language. Now we will simply, simply translate to German. So what I will do, I will copy this text and paste it here. This is the value. This value is same, no translation required. I will go for back. Yes, I want to translate. Yes, completed. Now I will go for next. Header details. This is our header details. So I will go for header title. Now. I will simply, simply write header hyphen details. I will do the translation for few windows. I will go to back. Yes. Now it's also completed. Now I will go for item title window. I double click. You can go through edit also by clicking on to edit button. So I have written item hyphen details. So I translated three things, three things. We translated order number, header details and item details. Order details, yes, we will translate in the next video because we are displaying through standard text or include text. Now I will go for save. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply log in into the German language and we will see 
yes are we getting the expected output or not now what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with how we can translate a sap script into other languages and translation is mandatory yes because depends upon the country we need to do that translation into other languages so to do that translation we went to sc63 transaction code and after going to sc63 transaction code we simply simply went to other text we chosed sap we chosed sap script forms and style we chose forms we provided the name of our script we gave target source language target language and we provided the various text and we saved in the next video i will log in into german language and we will see the expected output so that's it in this video thank you